The Arizona woman charged with trying to murder her husband by allegedly poisoning his coffee in the newly obtained surveillance video that he says proves she did it. Eva Pilgrim is here with the story. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, Michael. They were living under the same roof in the midst of a contentious divorce, and that's when Robbie Johnson says his coffee started tasting off, so he set up hidden cameras around the house. This morning, what those cameras found. This morning, an alleged poisoning caught on camera. Tucson police investigating these videos obtained by ABC News that airman Robbie Johnson claims shows his wife, Melody, trying to poison him by pouring bleach into his coffee maker in the midst of a contentious divorce. In a probable cause complaint, Johnson alleging the poisoning attempts began in March while the couple lived in Germany and continued when they moved back to Arizona. After noticing his coffee was tasting bad, he bought pool chemical testing strips, which showed high levels of chlorine in his coffee pot. The strips seen in this video police are investigating obtained by our affiliate KGUN. I want to test this to show that it's definitely tainted. It stinks. Same strip. Big change. Johnson setting up multiple cameras in his house, capturing the footage of his wife, who's now behind bars, charged with multiple felonies, including attempt to commit first degree murder. According to the complaint, police found liquid that smelled like bleach inside the coffee maker and a container under her bathroom sink that smelled like bleach and had a very small amount of liquid inside of it. Her husband alleging she was trying to kill him to collect death benefits. Melody has not entered a plea, her attorney declining to comment. The state is going to have to prove that her intention was to kill him, that this wasn't some bizarre effort to clean the coffee machine, that this wasn't some mistake, that she was out to get him. And I would think that the additional investigation that they've done will support that argument. Now she's expected to be back in court on November 6th. Juju. Well, Eva, we're all going to be watching that case very closely. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.